kan gede bingga bingga gamba gamba maja maja baman go naya buri yang indah ya lanci pama nonggol bobo apaan pama First Nations Australians are the oldest living culture in the world. And while the image of the resilient tribal people making a life in the dry red deserts of Australia center is not inaccurate, I was surprised to learn that they also inhabit the oldest rainforest in the world, the Dane tree. And that's the case with the people that Mary and I are meeting with for this pigment gathering adventure the Kuku Yilanji. Every people group that Mary and I encounter in our global pigment collecting adventure have a different threshold for how much time, history, and culture they're willing to share with us as outsiders. In the case of the Kuku Yilanji people, that access was limited to just a few hours with only a few tribe members, and we were only allowed to film our guide. After meeting our guide, who simply referred to himself as Skip, we were immediately brought into a cleansing ceremony to remove any negative or bad spirits we may have brought in with us before entering the rainforest. We're going to take you through our traditional smoking ceremony. We are basically going to walk past the smoke here, and walk around this area here, and just get the smoke on our body as I continue to say word. Uh, so when we enter and leave this area, we're not going to be affected by any bad feelings, any bad spirits. It's a form of respect. It will respect the elders of our tribes, past, present, emerging. It will let the spiritual ancestral beings that we believe still dwell in this rainforest and let them know that you have shown respect by going through ceremony, by having that smell on your body. I'm also gonna let the rainforest know that you are not bad people, he's a friend of mine. Come get it! Binga binga gamba gamba maja maja baman go Naya buri yang anda jalan di pama nonggol bobo apal pama Yero wai balaji jalbu jalbu dinga dinga gara gai gara gai Dobu gari naya jawan jawan Nale jena bedonga ya gara bija Yala dah into the rainforest, we were given a warning. These rainforests are classified as being some of the most dangerous places to be in. About not only the prehistoric cassowary listed in the Library of Congress as the world's most dangerous bird, but some of the plant life as well. We definitely don't want to come across that plant. Considered to be the most dangerous plant in the rainforest. It's called stinging tree. In our language, we say milly. You go up and brush against that leaf there, you will know about it instantly. And we've had incidents where we've had to rush people down to the local hospital. People will put on morphine drips just for the pain. Because the hairs are slightly curved at the end. They're like little needles. And they'll just stick into your skin. As they break off, they inject you with four toxins. So what you need to do is very carefully get down to the ground there, pull that tree out of the ground, grab the roots, crush the roots up. The roots will turn into a very sticky paste, cover that area. Just before it dries up, we're going to scrape it off with the edge of a muscle shell or a sharp flat rock. In the rainforest here, we call these sticks. <laughs> it's impossible to throw too many trees. So we use it like a digging stick, dig the ground, and also it's tapping in our music. Yeah. And these are the perfect weapon for flocks of birds. So when you see a flock of birds flying in our direction, we'll get the boomerang to go in front of the birds, hopefully, and as the birds are still flying, they're going to return back into their flight path. So two or three at the same time was a very effective way to hunt.
Skip showed us the four different colors the rainforest had to offer. White, yellow, black, and red, though we would only be allowed to collect the latter. He taught us how to collect the red rocks properly and with respect at the edge of the creeks and rivers before taking us there, but not before giving us another warning. Right rivers around here will hold crocodiles, especially in northern Australia. But to get to that river, you're gonna have to walk through there. So just be aware of that, that we are in crocodile country. do very soon to show you how we can find the streams. The streams will get us to the main river, the main river will take us out. This area, fresh water crocodile. Further down river, you've got to find some water crocodile. Hunting ground around rivers. Catching the animals coming down for a drink. Taking the animals out. There's fish, the eels, the turtles, Water snake, water guana, water birds, even in smaller streams you'll find gabbies, freshwater prawns. Although it makes for dramatic video, we were never actually close to any crocodiles. And Skip made sure that we were always safe. I created from our time with the Kuku Yulanji people are infused with not only the red pigment we collected, but with our experience of the cleansing smoke ceremony. Our time spent in the rainforest and its beautiful crystal pools. experience learning from our remarkable Yolanji guide.
Those paintings are available on my website.